The Faith of Abraham Over the centuries, Jews found it difficult to think about Jesus without associating him with the bad conduct of those who acted in his name. What Jews have rejected is not so much Jesus as the systems of Christian theology that equated Jesus with God, that nullified the Torah, and that displaced the Jewish people and their covenant. Jews are acutely aware of the unredeemed nature of the world. If Jesus can never be the Messiah for Jews, as a descendant of David who inaugurated a yet unfinished messianic program, he is surely by historical measures a Messiah. A recovery of the perspectives of James and Jesus' other original followers, who continued to hope and strive for messianic redemption, and who espoused a set of biblical ethics based on the Hebrew prophets even after Jesus' death, offers a point of unity and understanding hitherto neglected between Jews and Christians. For Christians, an understanding of the Jesus dynasty opens a way for recovering and appreciating the Jewish roots of Jesus. More and more Christians have become familiar with basic Jewish customs and holidays in an effort to understand Jesus better as a Jew in his own time. If Christians can give James his rightful place as successor to Jesus' movement, and begin to realize that his version of the faith represents a Christianity with claims to authenticity that override those of Paul, even more doors of understanding between Christians and Jews will be opened. But just as important, in terms of Christian mission and purpose in the world, the unfinished agenda of John, Jesus, and James can find new life and relevance in modern times. Muslims do not worship Jesus, who is known as Esau in Arabic, nor do they consider him divine, but they do believe that he was a prophet or messenger of God. The Muslim emphasis on Jesus as messianic prophet and teacher is quite parallel to what we find in the Q source, in the book of James and in the Didache. To be the Messiah is to proclaim a message, but it is the same message as that proclaimed by Abraham, Moses, and all the prophets. Islam insists that neither Jesus nor Muhammad brought a new religion. Both sought to call people back to what might be called Abrahamic faith. This is precisely what we find emphasized in the book of James. Since Muslims reject all of the Pauline affirmations about Jesus, and thus the central claims of Orthodox Christianity, the gulf between Islam and Christianity on Jesus is a wide one. However, there is little about the view of Jesus, represented by the Jesus dynasty, that conflicts with Islam's basic perception. The Christianity that we know from the Q source, from the letter of James, from the Didache, and some of our other surviving Jewish Christian sources, represents a version of the Jesus faith that can actually unite, rather than divide, Jews, Christians, and Muslims. When I stood in the Garden of Gethsemane that night in my youth, I could not possibly have imagined the four-decade journey upon which I was embarking. My goal at every turn has been to get as close as I can, given the evidence, to the historical Jesus. Modern historians are acutely aware that neither our sources nor our own attempt to make sense of them are transparent windows. Our view of the past is never a clear one, It is impossible to gaze upon facts without interpretation. When it comes to the quest for the historical Jesus, our need to be aware of our own prejudices seems particularly acute. No other figure in history elicits such passionate responses nor engenders such opposite conclusions. A conscious humility before the evidence is absolutely essential. I have discovered over the last 40 years that there are countless others who share the quest for the historical Jesus and who want to know the truth wherever it may lead. Our conclusions might differ, but I hope that my journey will help them to better glimpse Jesus as he was in his own time and place. I truly believe that an understanding of Jesus and his family and the dynasty that perpetuated his message is one of the most important keys to completing our quest to know the historical Jesus and the origins of Christianity.